All right, so today I'm going to be showing you guys the basic fundamental tools required to start making uh, anything fabrication wise, anything uh, car wise, turbo stuff wise, plate steel wise, uh, bracket wise, anything you want to make. Uh, basically starts off with these basic tools and uh, I'll give you an overview of uh, of these tools. There's about you know 12, 13 total. I'll give you a basic uh, you know look at them and a bit in a general idea of uh, how they work and how you can use them. All right, so let's begin. Here we have uh, from left to right we have a, a basic tape measure. This is a 12 foot long, uh, a steel ruler. This uh, next is the uh, angle finder. You can you know find angles of different different things. Here we have a square, making sure your uh, your stuff is all squared, true and plumb. Here we have a, a caliper. Here we have a uh, a locking C clamp pliers. We have them you know in three different sizes, but they come in you know all, all different shapes and sizes. We have a center punch right here. We have a scribe, a pair of scissors a sharpie for marking everything and you know basically like cardboard stock or uh, I have here is you know this is basically what I use as cardboard stock for uh, you know drawing out my before I make them into steel I draw them out of, of uh, cardboard first as you can see here I have you know tabs here which I drew out with these basic tools like this and then I transfer them out and I transfer them to you know something like this out of steel also, you can make a. Let me see if I can grab this here. I also did this. This is uh, one of the versions of a motor mount I was making for my car. Uh, I didn't end up using this. I ended up using a different design. But as you can see, it comes out perfect. So if you want to transfer it out to steel, you can after that. All right. Uh, you know how the tape measure works, right? Pull it up and out. <laughs> Again with this ruler, these metal rulers are, are very useful, they, they always stay uh, true and plumb and always, you know, straight. Uh, this one's a 6 inch one, it's great for, you know, doing small stuff, but they, they come in a variety of sizes and, and, and different widths and lengths. Um, this here is the angle finder. If you want to find the, like, the degree of angle of something, for uh, let's say you're making like a box out of out of uh, square tubing and you want to make sure they're 90 or if you want to do like a, a double cut you do uh, 245 into a 90 you can you know measure this measure the angle of that with this thing and I don't know if you can see that it has little numbers on here that tell you what degree you're at also a, uh, a 90 degree uh, level here and a 45 degree level here so this thing's really useful. You can find them everywhere. Um, online, Harbor Freight sells them. Usually like under 10 bucks. This here is a square. Now this is probably one of the most useful tools that, that I have in my possession because I'm always making 90 degree angles and making sure everything's straight and true and plumb. And this helps me do it, you know, with ease. It works every time. It's, it never lies to me. And this also comes with a little screw and scribe right here which you know it's useful if you don't have you know a sharpie or a pencil and then here we have a uh, a, a caliper a digital one uh, if you want to make very accurate um, measurements or scribes you can lock this thing in and then you could scribe your metal with, with these two edges or these two edges and then go ahead and cut it whatever you want to do uh, up next is we have uh, locking seat clamp pliers these things are very useful for holding stuff you know you can adjust them with different pressures on them holding stuff or tacking stuff together for welding stuff again very useful uh, next up is uh, the automatic center punch you could use a uh, like one with a hammer but I just like this one better just because it's quicker one-handed I can you know I can knock them out bam 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 I can knock out you know 15 20 center punches and ready for drilling instead of you know taking the hammer and lining everything up next up is a scribe um, normally sharpies this is another tool the sharpie you know how this is but normally with sharpies sometimes if you're writing on you know if you're marking steel out they'll 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 lose they won't really write that good that well with, with sharpies 
So uh, I mostly just use a scribe, you know, you know, I scribe the line out or I'll scribe the number into the steel itself just so I know it's going to be there, you know, permanently and sometimes these sharpies uh, rub off, wash off when you handle them a little bit, especially if you're cutting them. Uh, if you're cutting them with uh, a bandsaw or anything, the blade usually has a little bit of oil for lubrication and that oil will, will, will activate the sharpie again and you can smudge it and your measurements will be wrong. Next up is scissors for cutting your templates before you transfer them to steel. Every project I do, I start out with uh, with a paper template first and do everything out of paper and see how if I like it, I like the design, if I want to change anything. And uh, you know, I do that with with cardboard and, and scissors and then uh, a sharpie, we, we already discussed that. But with, with these basic tools that I just went over, uh, I made these, this is a, a motor mount for uh, my S14, it's a twin turbo LSX. Uh, this was just like a practice one, as you can see it's only eight, 18 gauge steel. I'm using 3 16ths for its final uh, final metal thickness but I made this with all these tools right here that you see nothing nothing else I mean I used uh, like a chop saw or a bandsaw to cut everything but everything else was done you know with a hand with a drill all these tools right here is is this and how this works is also I made uh, this is what mounts the, to the clamshell the the front cross member this is also made with these tools as you can see let me on and uh, bolted here is uh, basically a sick piece of 16 gauge, two pieces of 16 gauge uh, steel here. And I made this exactly like I said with paper template. And you can see I cut it out. I liked it. I put it on here. I cut it to length, shorten it, and then I welded it up. But everything starts with basically paper t paper templates. And now how this works is you get a th threaded rod end. Put that in there. You get the bolt like this you bolt it up and then the motor mount I just showed you that, that bolts onto the to the to the block itself goes like this a nut will be welded on here and this will be threaded and you can adjust it however you want to you know up down your degrees mine's at 42 degrees so when I weld that in permanently I have to make sure it's at 42 degrees and this slides through the uh, the factory clamshell mount and then you bolt it up right here bam and that's this was all made with these tools right here so that goes to show you you can make you know if you're creative enough you can make pretty much anything with basic tools now this is how the final thing's going to go this is a uh, quarter inch this is 3 16 plate you've gone like this it's going to be welded so this is going to be the, the final the uh, the final you know mount that the ones I just showed you there were just for practice to see how everything would line up but yeah like I said guys these are the uh, basic fabrication tools and, and necessities to get started hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, stay tuned there will be more to come thanks